What is up guys, your boy Sam Kinez back at it again. Guys, today we're doing a day in life versus video with my boy Kalen Applefield. My guy is a stud, Cal Berkeley commit. We're gonna show you the day in the life differences of a D1 commit versus your boy, former Juco player trying to play pro slash content creator. Kalen's my boy, he's on the SoCal Giants, trains with my guy John Peabody. Now we're both gonna get after it today. But guys, before we send it back to Kalen, let's get a baby cue the intro. What's up everyone, this is Kaylin Applefield, class of 2024, graduate and a Cal commit. So you've got me on the video here today so we can kind of run you through a full day of uh, training and lifting and eating uh, as baseball players across the country. Kind of show you what we're doing to get ready for next season. Really excited to be on the video today, so hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, I'm about to make some breakfast. Uh, usually every day I'll probably have the same thing. Um, we'll go eggs, four or five. A little bacon going, mix in with a little cheese, get a little scramble going. You gotta have that Cholula. Cholula's gotta be on there. But yeah, no, I, I keep it about the same every single day. Uh, no point to really mix it up. Just trying to get as much protein as I can in right now. Just trying to get a little bigger for, for next season. And I'll catch up with you guys later, but uh, that's kind of it right now. Guys, uh, breakfast is done. Uh, everything else is done, I'm all together. Got my bag and everything in the back. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I'm on my way to school right now. It is finals week. I'm heading in right now. Got to present my English final. I'm really focus on that right now. Got to keep those grades up, you know, especially going to Cal. Uh, after that, I'll get into workouts and everything, and I'll uh, catch back up with you guys then. All right, guys, we are at the field at Alley Valley College right now, getting that training in. But I'm gonna take you guys back to right when I woke up. Flashback. All right, good morning, guys. It is bright and early, 7 a.m. Off for a morning workout. I was Coach Goose and my boy Thomas. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Got a banana. Hey, shout out. Gonna eat that in my car. And uh, gonna get my morning prayers in uh, while my car warms up. Gonna eat this baby on the way. What up, guys? We got your boy TK up in the house from Doan, bro. What's going on, guys? Dude, out here about to get some thrown in. Just nice and chilly, but nowhere near as cold as Nebraska right now. That's where uh, Thomas was at. I think it's like negative 50, bro. It's nuts. Just got a fat uh, throwing warm up with our guy, Coach Goose, leading the way. 180 feet today. Yes, sir. Backing it up. Let's get it. All right, I'm put the camera down. Let's get some throwing in. All right, guys, just finished playing some long toss. Dude, arm is pumped right now, man. Feeling good. Coach keeps getting me right. We're ramping it up. Gonna get a baseline probably next week or the week after. Yeah, about to get some infield work with my boy TK. And we're gonna get some hitting. Dude, look who we got, man. We got Johnny. Johnny Iacono out in the vlog, bro. Straight yeah. up from GBG. It's good, bro. Getting my work in with Goose. About to get some uh, bullpen in or what? Yeah. The track man. Yeah. You guys, look at LA Valley. We got it all, dude. Got a little track man piece. Right. Got Coach Goose eating a, eating a breakfast burrito. Don't be looking at my track man. <laughs> we got Coach Will Sked out here. Teaching the youth. Getting after it. All right, guys. I had to throw a hat on, bro. Can't be hidden without a hat. It's kind of weird. I threw that Valley Boys hat on, bro. Cop one of Valley Boys that shot for scroll up on this vid. About to get some T work in with the boy Thomas. Working on staying loose, bro. It's the biggest thing. Staying loose, using my leg, and not pulling off my upper body. Cause I'll be like super short in the zone, but yeah, let's get, see how it's feeling. Little Pearlski. Let's 
swing is feeling all right, you know? Feeling loose. Shoulders feeling better, you know? Just grateful to be swinging and not having shoulder surgery. We're gonna keep getting some uh, T work, but before we finish off, let me send it back to Kaylin. What's up, guys? How's it going? Just pulled through the field right now. Uh, my boy Alex is pulling up a minute, and we're gonna get a good long toss in. Uh, then after this, I'm gonna head over to the gym, get a good leg session, and then uh, I got a hitting lesson with my boy John Peabody today. Battling the elements here. It's really display of arm strength. <clears throat> a little one hop. I think the big thing about the winter and like what we're doing right now is just trying to get as strong as we can, build our arm strength, build our build our strength, hit balls harder, throw balls harder. It's really the goal. Try to do everything you can to make yourself better and put yourself in a better situation. The work that you do when you're not playing that makes you better when you are. Sometimes you're gonna fail. Baseball, you're always gonna fail. I guess we're done. <laughs> Dude, Finn's scared of the camera. Hi, doggy. Hi, doggy. Yeah, this food needed my my little belly rubs, man. Louie, you want some? You want some? What's up, bro? Get home after a nice little training session. Gotta say what's up to the pups. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guys, Finn is scared of the gorilla pod, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. That is hilarious. But yeah, just got home. Look, we got a Christmas tree. Let's get it. About to eat a fat meal right now. Gotta get those calories, bro. Gotta get the gains. Yeah, I let the dogs out. Now they're uh, they're arguing with the dogs next door. Guys, look at my hair. It's going crazy right now. I look like Hobo Steve. But guys, you think I was joking about having a fat meal? Guys, look at this right here, bro. Calories on calories. We got eggs, potatoes, and bread. I mean, technically toast, right? And <laughs> just some bread. But guys, I gotta step it up, man. Right now, a couple weeks ago, I was like 183, 4. That's pretty solid Steve right there. But now I think I'm at like high 170s, bro. I think I lost a little bit, but yeah, you know, I think that that is definitely attributed to my lack of diet right now. I gotta keep on gaining weight, bro. Gotta always gain. And yes, sir, I'm gonna talk through my dog's barking. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna eat this right now. It's going to be glorious, but let's send it back to Kaylin.
What's up guys, just finished up a really good toss and a really, really good lift. Legs are feeling a little dead right now. Um, I got some time to kill before my lesson, so I'm gonna go grab some food. I uh, just got some Chipotle, uh, it was pretty good. You know, trying to get that protein up, trying to get that uh, carbs up, you know, just trying to really fuel the body, get myself a little bigger, a little more muscle for this next season. I got my lesson in a few minutes, so I'm gonna head in, stretch, get loose. Uh, I'll get some videos of a swing for you guys. And I'll head home, kind of talk to you guys about my recruiting process and my experience with it. And uh, kind of just like what I use to keep myself going. Uh, so yeah, catch up with you guys then. What's up guys? I know it's a little dark right now, but the lesson's finished. I'm gonna head back in, get some catching work in. I'll get you guys videos of that too. Yes sir, what up guys? We are at the workstation in Mikasa. It's getting some work done on the computer, man. Boring stuff, you know, but life as a content creator, gotta do some planning, some editing. Yeah, just getting after it, sending some scripts, bro. Hey, if you guys are liking the day in the life videos, check out the playlist down below. Hey, if you guys are a D1 prospect, hit your boy up in the DMs. At Steven Canals on Instagram, I'm most likely down to get a collab rolling, bro. Trying to promote the game of baseball. Do what I can to show you guys the lifestyle and the grind, baby. The Valley Boys grind. Gonna eat some lunch soon and then go to the gym. Gonna get some back gains. But yeah, I'm probably gonna here for the next two hours and work my butt off on the computer. This guys, low-key kind of funny. Once you guys get out of school and whatever you want to do in life, you still have to work your butt off, man, and do the boring work. So if you're in school right now, not wanting to do any homework or anything, that was literally me in high school, bro. I hate homework. You might as well get a good attitude, put a good face on, bro. And the earlier on you create those habits, the easier it is to do and just get work done, you know? And you're gonna stop underachieving, bro, because you're putting that work, putting on that work on a consistent daily basis. Bro, there's no option but success whatever you're doing bro so yeah you know hard work works but before i get back to work let's head it back to kaylin What's up guys, jacket's back on, a little cold right now, 42 degrees. Yeah, catching work's done, I'm gonna head back home, get a shower in, get a good meal, and then I'll sit down and talk to you guys. All right, what's up guys, we're about to get a workout in. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel the best right now. I think there might be something going around, I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter, we're gonna get that work in regardless, dude. Can't be missing workouts, man, can't be missing out on those gains. You guys, we're gonna start off, gonna do a little band workout, just a little upper body pump, a little warm up. I like doing these to just like kind of maintain main gain a little bit. Then we're gonna get some heavy lifts on the on some weighted pull-ups. Gonna do a little back day, so so yeah, let's get it. Okay, guys, this is what I'm working with. This is my band. Kind of terrible timing. I just broke my band, bro. I was going too hard, but I'm gonna lift with it anyways because I don't feel like going to Big Five right now. But let's get it. Meanwhile, we got my boy, my brother Nikki, dude. literally on the phone. But yeah, you're on the vlog too. <laughs> and I have things in my hand. Yeah, my brother just got back from a movie. He should really be working out right now. I got back from two movies. Oh man, <laughs> guys, my brother, he has a YouTube channel as well, and he's setting up a boxing match. So I'm trying to force that guy to work out more, bro. He's gonna get gas in the first round.
All right, guys, it is post-workout. Kind of late, to be honest, having a late dinner, but gonna have a fat dinner, man. Gotta get those calories, gotta get the protein. The protein. Cue the angel music. Guys, we got teriyaki chicken, brown rice, and white rice. What the heck? Good mix between carbs, protein, and gotta get some, uh, some micros and some veggies. Yeah, I think this is gonna help me get to my calorie quota for the day. Trying to stick around 3,000, 4,000 calories a day to gain weight um, with all the stuff that I'm doing. I'm not trying to lose weight, bro. I'm not trying to be on a cut right now because when I'm on a cut or when I'm not eating calories, I feel weak. And I'm not trying to be weak. So yeah, we're about to eat this food right now for the gains. And I'm going to be exhausted afterwards. All right, guys. So now that I'm all settled in for the night, I kind of just wanted to run you through kind of my experience with the recruiting process and talk about what I think has uh, made me so successful to the point uh, where I am today. Uh, the recruiting process for me started back in eighth grade. You know, I'm a San Diego kid. I love San Diego. I wanted to be here for a while. Um, and in eighth grade, San Diego State offered me a full ride. And I um, mean, I took it. Uh, I know it was early, but I really liked the staff. I really liked the way things were going for them. Uh, at the time, like the program was really, really good. Um, and I went through my freshman year. I started on varsity. And at the end of the year, the recruiting coordinator that recruited me uh, left. So I made the decision to decommit. And at that time, I was also dealing with an injury. Um, so I decommitted at, the t at a time where I wasn't playing. Um, but luckily, um, I had the resources and I had the people that uh, put me in front of the right people and put me in front of the right set of, for sets of eyes. And I uh, accumulated a pretty good amount of offers from that, from you know the video that was being put out and uh, you know the word to mouth. I, I was very blessed to have the people in my life at that point. And, you know, I had a lot of big schools offer me. I had a lot of a lot of opportunities that people would kill for. And eventually I settled on Cal Berkeley. Uh, for me, the mix of academics and Power 5 baseball and just the people over there, man, like that's where I really wanted to be. It's where I felt right. Uh, going into that, my sophomore season, I, uh, you know, dealt with some injuries again. You know, a couple uh, not as serious as my uh, freshman going into sophomore summer, but definitely enough to uh, make me deal with some adversity and push through. But I had a pretty productive year. I had a really good year, um, and it put me into this summer. Um, summer started off pretty good, um, and I got hurt again. But you know, I just kept pushing through. I kept working, and that's the most important thing. I mean, I put in the effort to get healthy, and as soon as I was healthy, I did the things I needed to do. Back into summer and into the fall, the swing felt great. I was mashing, put me in front of the right people, got me a lot of pro attention, um, got, got a lot of MLB scouts on me, um, played scout ball with the Brewers and Red Sox, and of course my boys at the SoCal Giants. After that ended up, you know, it's where we are right now. I've developed these routines that have kind of, feel like pushed me above everyone else, gotten me stronger, throwing harder, doing everything I can to push myself, get me better than everyone else. And that, I mean, that's the main focus, you know, you're trying to be better than everyone else. What I think has done that is just sticking in my routine, you know, like hitting every single night, lifting five times a week, working on my catching, working on my throwing, just working on any little thing that I that I can make myself better at. Um, that's, that's really important for me. I'm lucky to have such a great support system with my guys over there at Five Tool Hitting Center at core performance, my boy John Peabody, and just such friends in the community that I live in that, uh, you know, has a lot of good baseball players in it and uh, a lot of people who want to get to the next level and push themselves. So I'm very grateful to be surrounded by all that. I'm very grateful to have parents that support me to do anything I want to do. I'm, I'm very lucky and I, I want to take advantage of the opportunity. And uh, that's one thing I had to leave you with is just be able to take advantage of the opportunities you're given and work for more opportunities. I mean, that, that's just how you have success in life. That's just how you grow. You take advantage of opportunities and you capitalize. Um, that's kind of it for me. I'm going to sign off the night. I'm going to pass it back to my boy, Steve. I just want to thank him for putting me on the video tonight. You guys can follow me on social media at kalen.app, K-A-L-E-N dot A-P-P. -P. Uh, Instagram and TikTok is the same. Um, I want to uh, just, again, say thanks, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good night, guys. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna be the end of the vlog today. Big shout out to my guy, Kaylin, man, for jumping on the channel. The kid grinds his butt off, bro. He's a true Valley boy, yes, sir. We get after when nobody's watching. 100,000 people are watching. No matter the hate, no matter the doubt. 
It's a tried and tested formula, man. Hard work works. If you stay on your mission, stay focused, things in your life are gonna start to go better, man. So big shout out to Kalen. Now you guys know what it's like being a Cal Berkeley commit. Hope the guys got something out of it. If you guys wanna see him on the channel, again, comment down below. Comment who else you guys wanna see. Make sure you guys smack that like button. Go give Kalen a follow on Instagram. Shop Valley Boys down in the description at valleyboys.shop. And yeah, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video today. See you guys in the next one. Peace.